morning guys and welcome to the channel um i am out on the s18 but today something different i'm going to review this bell super ar uh convertible helmet so uh come along and i'm going to do a bit of trail riding as well i see 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 if the trail is dry um but as you can see from behind me it's still super wet but i'm going to go and check it out so uh, come along and enjoy the ride. <laughs> so there we go down nicely just there and uh, this is because it's still wet <laughs> the wheel didn't beep this is quite interesting let's see Luckily, this is uh, some really soft trails. <laughs> and this is the other thing um, of wearing protection. Um, it all helps. And the thing is, I've been uh, trying out this, these Heelbilly uh, gloves um, for a few weeks now. And this is what I'm going to do in my next review. I'm going <laughs> to get some feedback uh, give you give you give you guys some feedback on this hillbilly gloves but um, as you can see now we're going to point down there that's uh, <laughs> those two markers there that's where I uh, use the wrist guards now uh, <laughs> sometimes you fall to the side but the natural thing that you do is you fall forward <laughs> uh, let's check the camera so yeah, the camera is spot on, um, but yeah, these gloves, first try, and uh, they work perfect. Kept my wrists uh, safe from uh, hitting the floor, but I'll do that in my next review. 
Let's get going. Getting these knee pads built into these trousers are phenomenal. Let's go down here. Play. Oh man. One of these days it will be dry. Just having a quick little break just to recover from that fall. <laughs> but you see, this is this is exactly why um, I sort of just wear the protection because if you do come off, there's roots and stuff in the forest, if you fall on the stuff, uh, having good knee protection. Uh, elbow protection and then wrist guards for me is uh, is super important. I'm old you know, if I fall too hard uh, it takes a long time to heal <laughs> but okay let's get back to um, the Bell Super Air Arm. So the reason why I bought this helmet um, was specifically for um, riding mountain bikes and also for riding my EUC and the reason why I went for this helmet was because um, I wanted something that I can use for normal trail riding um, that is very light um, and it's and it can be converted from a full face helmet to well not a full face helmet but a, a a motocross style helmet to a trail bike helmet so let me show you how that looks like so you've got two little clips here at the back really easy you just clip the one back make sure you push all the way back and then these things just uh, clip out. Doing it live. And then you've got the two parts. And this thing, then you can put it in the garage or in the back of the car or in the back of your backpack if you wanna, if you do, if it's really warm. And then you've got a, a really good looking trail helmet. So I was also looking for a helmet that can go down quite low at the back. So if you do fall backwards, it's not just this normal style because my previous helmet was a um, like a like a, uh, a BMX style helmet um, so and it didn't go that low so this was really nice to have it um, really nice and low at the back but yeah really good looking helmet um, for me and um, there's different colors in them this helmet also has the MIBS system so um, it it's it it helps with if you do fall the helmet doesn't stay perfectly on your head well it does stay on your head but it, um, it allows for um, uh, lateral movement so this whole thing on the inside can actually move as well it's on like elastic bands with a traditional helmet the inside stuff the inside um, bit that fits on your head can't move so if you do fall and the helmet gets stuck this thing will actually twist as well so it gives you extra protection it's the new MIPS M-I-P-S system um, it's got the adjuster at the back that's really nice and comfortable it's also rubbery and what nice is about that if you feel with your gloves and whatever it it makes it really nice and easy to um, adjust um, there you can see it's the Super Air R um, it, it, as I said it comes in the different colors I quite like this because it's, again it's visible um, in darker riding conditions and it's also during the day it's nice and visible i like the camo green as you can see i've got a <laughs> got a nice peak the peak can be removed and then um, again um, with the helmet you get different size of uh, cheek peat, uh, cheek pads on the on the inside that you can change so it um, you can get a nice really nice fit um, it also, the other thing that's nice, it comes with a GoPro mount. So in one of these holes, it it comes with a mount that you can mount an action camera on the top. Um, just, uh, I've been doing a lot of reading and, and uh, trying to figure out where's the best position. Um, and a lot of guys, what they do when they ride with uh, motocross helmets and they don't want to, just to carry on from um, the GoPro mount, and a lot of guys, you get this nice like, big clamp that you can clamp onto the front of this and this then gives you this point of view and um, where all the motor vloggers have their cameras um, not on the top anymore it's all on the front and this is also quite nice because there's a lot of space in here to actually put that clamp down um, 
but let's try and put it back on it is you know a lot of people say it, it is a bit fiddly and this is again with everything if you um, if you know how it works and you've practiced a bit um, of how to fit it and how to uh, take it apart then it is really easy so that is then the helmet back to a, a motocross style helmet and yeah man i am you know the key the key points about this helmet is the weight that is really light it's really comfortable um when it's winter with all these vents your head gets really cold so what i do is i just tape up with clear um clear packing tape i tape up most of the vents and just leave like the rear vents open so um, i get nice and warm in the front and then the heat can be uh, removed here at the back but um, really nicely vented um, it's also very comfortable it's, it's got these grips on the side where you can put like uh, goggles if you want to ride with goggles um, i actually uh, bought a pair of goggles and i've never used them so far um, I, I don't know maybe i'll use them in the summer but um, i thought i'm gonna use them in the winter but no <laughs> Not need it. Um, wants to be switched off. Hope it's going to stay. <laughs> so, uh, not good. <laughs> Come on, wheel. So, yeah, really good helmet for myself. I see a lot of guys uh, ride with uh, full face helmets now, and um, it's it really just adds that extra bit of protection uh, some people think it is overkill for me i only have one head so um, i might as well protect it um, there's some other helmets on the market um, i see a lot of guys ride with the uh, ruko helmets um, they do look uh, quite heavy and this is the one thing that that was um, that pushed me to this helmet i'm looking for something a little bit lighter um, but yes, you know, I see the guys in, uh, you know, in Europe ride with, uh, because it's really bad weather. And I think if the weather is really bad, like a, like a cheap um, full face motorbike helmet is probably going to be the best, like they use. Um, but if you, if it, as soon as it gets hot and the trail becomes really warm and you, uh, you get a sweat on, the lighter, uh, more airy helmet is definitely better and the thing is as soon as you get riding then I, you know i get really hot you know i had to switch off my heated vest and the thing is it feels like summer because it is <laughs> what is it i think this morning it's i think it's 7 30 and it's uh, eight degrees outside it's like summer beautiful beautiful okay guys i hope that helped someone um i'm gonna do a bit of riding still so I'll add the footage into into the end um but i hope you enjoyed the video and Please like and subscribe, share it out to your friends, then we can grow this channel. And um, I will see you on the next ride. Cheers. Awesome little section. Let's do that again. Now that the trees and stuff are gone. Let's go. I went from side to side to tell my trouble come alive. I can't wait the sun is shining. The sails and follow my own tide, yeah. And there's a string in there, I'm telling you.
like to bury the ruins of my mistakes to only keep it the truth, yeah. And there's a treasure out there, just everyone should just have to choose, yeah. Here it is, a wisdom of my city, is that a mark, freedom of mine, is one away.